I would like to show you a, a, a design technique that I find very helpful uh, in the painting process. Uh, it's a little bit of a trick to do to get to shift our thinking into this process, but it can be very helpful in uh, unifying your painting and also making, making your painting look um, uh, more painterly, more loose. So let's say I have a, a boat. I'm going to use a real dark pencil here so you can see the line work. Now, there's going to be another boat right over here next to it. And a dock. There's a dock shape here. Let's get a big brush that will hold a lot of water and a lot of pigment. And I'm going to block in these masses. And then we have a nice rainbow of color there. Notice I don't overstroke it. I lay it down, leave it alone. Now, watch what I do. I don't stop at where the boat meets the water, which is called the water line. We actually go, we're actually going to bring it right down into the reflection. Now, sometimes people call this the shadow. This is not a shadow. This is a reflection. And I'm going to make it about the same color as what's up above in the boat. I have a little bit of red in there, so let's go ahead and put that in. And so it's a seamless wash all the way through here. Now I'm going to take that same wash and I'm going to run it right into the boat patterns over here. And see how it's joined? This boat is now joined into that boat. And we have, I'm going to bring it also right down into the dock area. So we have one big shape that's joined together. And this can feel very awkward at first because we're painting through the boundaries of our objects and we're now constructing a new shape. But it helps us with many, uh, with several design uh, issues. One is that we will get reflected color. Uh, also, we get rid of little white halos that cover, that go around our objects. Uh, we get a better shape, we get a bigger shape, and also we get soft edges. And uh, uh, soft edges are our tool, uh, a, a very good tool for watercolors. Uh, hard edges are difficult to turn into a soft edge for watercolors, but it's easy to turn a soft edge into a hard edge in watercolor. So I'll come in, and let's say I want to come in and make this a little bit harder. You can always come in after it dries or while it's drying and start to pick out an edge and start to delineate these other objects from each other. And it gives a really nice painterly look. Uh, this takes quite a bit of study. There's, it's a, there's an extensive uh, 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 design theory behind all this that I'm not going to go into right now. But uh, I do have a video on that. It's the first one of my workshop video that where we, I spend quite a bit of time showing you the design advantages by painting through these boundaries and creating new shapes. It takes a little bit of courage because uh, we don't see our subject right off the bat and, and we start to pull it out at the end of the painting process. Okay. Typically, the safe way to paint, but will not give us very good results, is when we paint piece by piece. Boat, then we let it dry, then we paint reflection, let it dry, boat, let it dry, dock, and let it dry. They will not be unified. You'll have little white halos around them, and it will not look painterly. It looks, it tends to, the painting will tend to look like it's uh, fractured and kind of like scratchy looking. It almost looks like, it looks like the cat got a hold of it when you, when you paint object by object.